My name is Jose. I am the owner at Rio Athletic Softball. We took the time to make this short four minute clip to show you the parent and the player some of the drills and exercises that we get done here at Rio Athletics. This drill you're watching right here is a four corner drill that we do each one of our teams. We have a 12U, a 14U, and a 16U team. Uh, this drill here is combined with all three levels, both 12, 14, and 16. Uh, this is just a short toss drill to work on quick hands, get moving with the feet, creating good angles to the ball. This here is a glove flip. There's a glove flip here. Just teaches kids and young athletes to have control no matter what position they're in. Uh, a lot of people would look at this drill as what's really the point, but it really does teach athleticism and quickness. Double, double tap drill here. This is a drill that is created to get the glove down early, to create quick feet, to create momentum going towards first base. Um, the biggest thing to being a quality infielder at the softball level is making sure you have quick feet and you're aggressive. And so we've tried to establish different drills and exercises throughout our program over the last 10 years demonstrating and instructing softball to really teach our athletes to be aggressive after the ball defensively and want the softball, not just hope that it takes a good hop and wait on it. So as you watch this video, you'll see our complex. We have both the indoor and outdoor complex. The outdoor complex that you're looking at right now is a full-size softball field. And... Um, it's field turf field, so we're able to train and instruct year-round here. The video shown here is doing some double play flips, doing some drills to um, just to get some basic stuff done during um, practice time. Uh, this shows a little bit of athleticism with the girls, but also shows the amount of work that we can get done throughout the off-season um, at our facility. We train currently about 250 girls from all over the Northwest, um, not just the real athletic players, but uh, girls that are on other select teams. And right now we train um, over 10 other select organizations that they come and actually train at our facility. So whether your needs are individual or team, we've tried to establish a program in the community that will allow teams and individuals to train even if they're not on a Rio Athletic Softball Select team. Uh, we have very good teams. We're fortunate with the parents and the kids that have committed to our program over the last few years that uh, it's grown fairly good. Um, so we hope to continue to establish a good rapport, good relationship with many people in the community here in the softball. But most importantly, what we've been able to establish is about the kids. That's why we don't leave our training exclusively to Rio Athletics, but open it to everybody, all ages, all abilities. If they have the willingness to want to compete, whatever level it be, 10U, 12U, 14U, 16U, 8U, even at the college level, we want to establish a program where, where girls can come in and know that they're going to be surrounded by men and women of character. They're not going to yell, holler, swear at them, but encourage them, but yet challenge them in more ways than they've ever been challenged before. With this, we have found out that the girls come to practice consistently wanting to get better, wanting to learn, uh, wanting to come into lessons in, in some of our, our infield camps, our catching camps. We have hitting camps, a lot of... Uh, weight training, girls specific, softball specific camps that we do. These programs have grown over the years and we've seen consistently friends and referrals come into our program and and have their girls work out and come and have a better season than they've ever had before. Uh, some of our success stories throughout the years have been uh, Krista Colburn who was an All-American at UCLA. She is currently a part-time instructor here at Rio Athletics. Uh, Nalani that you're about to see here was a junior college starter and pitched in the national championship game and she does our pitching lessons here and has a variety of drills and exercises that will help with um, different levels of pitching from the very beginning to the advanced level at the college level that she did as well. So thank you for the time to watch this video. We hope that it is a good video and that we hope that you can kind of get an idea of some of the drills and exercises that we perform and uh, look forward to seeing you at our facility. You can just call and get a individual evaluation scheduled. And we'll just take the, each girl through hitting, pitching, fielding, uh, a speed and strength test at no cost and kind of give you an idea of what we feel would be the best uh, direction for you to go if you decide to do training in the future. So have a good day. Hope you enjoyed the video and God bless.